Hello, I am Dr. Mohua Bhattacharji. Today we will be discussing the compensation principle of Keldor and Hicks and also which was later modified by Stratosky. It's taking telling almost the same perspective, same thing, a different perspective, the gainer's point of view and the loser's point of view. So Keldor and Hicks criterion says that uh, the Pareto could not explain the changes and so there was a revolution in the world of welfare economics and they wanted to bring the change and talk about the welfare economy. So there is a change and then there is a welfare. So because it's a practical thing, economics is a dynamic world in talking about the dynamism of the world and so to ignore change it was not possible to take it as an acceptable model and so that's why it was modified or it has been a new version or a new criterion was given by Keldor and Hicks which was talking that that there is a change fine so there is a change and with this pay change there is a some sections of the people is made better off and some section of the people is made worse off so now the question is this if the better off people can make the can do something something which may not be talking about specifically on the monetary terms but can do some benefit to the losers or the people who did not get much benefit and the, and changes their worse off situation to little better off situation and the one who has changed remain the same then it is called a welfare also for example if we say that there is a construction of a of a big <coughs> flyover with the flyover, there is some section of the people who gained a lot. Suppose the business sections or the people who used to transport the goods uh, from A corner to B corner, they became it much more easier. But the question is that those people who used to reside there uh, in the lower section, they started getting uh, 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 accumulations of water and then dirts and all those things are coming up because that is not been uh, drained the system suppose it's not been made, made successfully better one so now the question is that the people the section who has gained from it is making some provision for this loser sections and they still remain as a gainer then it is called a welfare has done welfare is done so this is called the Keldor Hicks criterion compensation principle that is the gainer is compensating the loser and still is remains as a better off so for example, if we explain it with the utility possibility curve, suppose individual A and individual B and individual and initially we were here and with any change, whatever change we talk about and then suppose we went to B point and the B point we can understand automatically the B's consumption or B's production possibilities have increased B's in a better stage. But the A has remained almost the same or is in worse or he is not in same, he is in a worse off situation. So it has gone somewhere towards the left. Uh, so that's why in this situation, now if B with some reallocation, with some compensation to the individual A can pull the A to from A towards the R or, or to the T or to the S position, then it is happening that it is the A individual is in better off situation relative to the previous and the individual B is still in the better off situation. So in this condition what is happening, a change is happening and but both party has made an adjustment and so there is an improvement in the society and it is called the uh, new welfare economics or it is called the compensation principle where the gainers have compensated the loser and still remain the better off. Now the same perspective can be explained, Stratosky has given the explanation from the loser's point of view, that when there will be no welfare. So now in this section A, when it, there is a change, but the losers had tried to convince the gainers not to make the change and remain as it was, then it is also considered to be the remaining on the same state without any welfare. So, Stratosky have explained this the, from the loser's point of view and Caldos and Hicks have considered it from the gainer's point of view. But the concept is the same that there will be two sections, the gainers and the losers. The gainers will be sometimes trying to convince the loser for the change and sometimes the losers will be trying to convince the gainers for not doing the change. But in both the way, the terminology welfare is continuing. So, that's why 
this is the example of uh, the new welfare economics which was given by Stutok, Eldor Hicks and Stutowski. And then next we uh, come up to the another concept, uh, concept which is called the bliss point, the final discussion on the welfare economics which is done through the bliss point. The bliss point is finally is considered to be the ultimate point, the solution which we get by the combining the value judgment about equity or distribution, distributive justice with economic efficiency. That is, we will be having the Pareto optimality condition in the same canvas of equity or distributive justice. Now, how we will be doing it? There are certain steps which by which we will be doing it. Firstly, we will be deriving a production possibility curve. From the production possibility curve, we will be discussing how that total output is alt is. Uh, <coughs> Uh, optimally been distributed among the consumer and then we will be getting a utility possibility frontier. So with this utility possibility frontier we will be uh, we will be uh, uh, deriving a ultimate bliss point by bringing the social indifference curve. Social indifference curve is nothing but the combination of the goods which will be taken by individual A and B considering that the A and B are the total representation of the society. So this is the, the this is the main boundary or the outline of a bliss point discussion which we will be going step by step. In the first we will be deriving a utility possibility frontier then we will be social indifference curve and then we will be bringing these two together and we get the point in which these two are tangent as a bliss point so that's what we have discussed today the next we will discuss the latest